It's been about six months or so since this set of five paintings from the galleon bedroom arrived at Art Care for treatment. The main issues were insect damage, overpainting, and a discolored varnish layer. The treatment process has really been bringing all of that back together. We found the remains of a lot of old bugs behind the canvas, and the bugs had found all those really yummy, yummy things that exist in a traditional painting, like animal glues and all of these things, and they had gone to lunch on the back of this canvas, so it was full of holes. Uh, you could see right through to the back of the paint layer when you looked at the back of the canvas. The first thing that we have to do is apply a protective tissue facing, which means it really is just a big sheet of Japanese tissue. And we roll that out on the surface and then we create an adhesive using uh, isinglass, which is dissolved sturgeon bladders. It's great, great stuff. All conservators love isinglass. Uh, we put that into a warm water solution, dissolve it, and we brush that over the tissue and it creates a kind of a protective net over the paint surface. So if any paint wants to become dislodged from the artwork, it's stuck to that tissue and it's not going anywhere and it can, we can get that back into the whole matrix of that artwork. We also have to address the canvas itself. We got rid of the old stretchers, they were completely worn out, the, the bars were like, the edges were sharp, which can be damaging for the canvas, got rid of those, got new ones. Uh, we inserted ca canvas inserts where there was canvas loss eaten by those little buggies I mentioned. Uh, we had to fill where the ground was lost. We had to go in and reconstruct all of those areas of lost paint. In the next video, we'll discuss the most challenging part of the project, filling in losses, and the trick we used to get the perfect texture match. Got questions for us? Leave them in the comments and you might inspire the next video.